Expect the unexpected, they say. Thomas Tuchel has been unveiled and formally presented as the new England manager for the national men's side. And what do you lot make of it, people? Now, for me, it took me by surprise. I'm pretty sure nobody saw that coming. Whether Thomas Tuchel always had ambitions to, you know, jump into the international scene or this was an opportunity he found too good to turn down. It's an interesting one, people. Um, again, before I offer my own thoughts, again, just, just so you lot are in the loop, as you will know, the FA have appointed Thomas Tuchel as England's head senior coach people apparently he's signing on a one-year deal people apparently his arrival at the FA uh, Cohen concludes an extensive recruitment search which began in July just after the three Lions ran um, run to the Euro 2024 final apparently he officially begins his tenure as England manager on the 1st of January people and obviously with that it's now ahead of the qualification process for the World Cup finals of 2026 which is due to be held in Canada Mexico and America now I'd imagine he's going to get his Bayern Munich coaching staff and ex-Chelsea coaching staff together people now my thoughts on it would be first things first can Thomas Tuchel win England the Euros or a World Cup if not then he's not the man for the job and I don't mean that in a dis ingenuous way what i mean by that is obviously gareth southgate i actually feel in my 29 years i think there's plenty of criticisms about how gareth southgate lined up about the you know the lack of structure all of that kind of stuff but i think you know Thomas Tuchel does it as well. He's, Gareth Southgate had a good player relationship. And obviously, Thomas Tuchel and Gareth Southgate, Thomas Tuchel's up here as a manager. Gareth Southgate isn't held in the same regards. But specific to England, in my 29 years, I'll be completely honest. This is the best I've seen England play, really. You know, when you look at the previous golden generations, they weren't getting to semi-finals and, and, and finals of Euros and things of that ilk, were they? So if Thomas Tuchel can't get us over the line, in which we don't know until, you know, we see what he's going to do, it's, it's going to, you know, it's really a non-starter, if, if I'm completely honest with you. Also, when I look at Thomas Tuchel, the first thing I would say is, you know, it's a, it's very different from club football to international football. And as, as when you look at Thomas Tuchel, he's played a range of formations, He's known as a tinkerman, can play as a back four and a back five. I think on one hand, England need that technical flexibility and a manager that can do that kind of stuff. But on the other hand, obviously, as an England manager, you have less time on the training front. The vast majority of his job is, as you look, know, going to be spent scouting players, you know, looking at breakout stars, betting on a core group of players, which, you know, obviously going back to his ex-Chelsea days, I wonder what he does. I wonder, you know, some of Reese James's best time in the Premier League was as a right wing back under Thomas Tuchel for Chelsea. So I wonder what that means. Obviously, Trent Alexander-Arnold has had a new lease of life in his own England career. What's going on there? How is he going to blood the new blood? You know, is he going to, you know, how does he get the best out of Bakayo Saka, Phil Foden, etc.? One thing I like about Thomas Tuchel, whether it works out or not, he's a very structured coach. You look at the way he presses, you look at how he organizes organises defence. Those are two things that couldn't be said for England under Gareth Southgate. The defence, it was just all men's to the pump and we was winging it. We, you know, It's well known England cannot press. So I think those are two priorities for Thomas Tuchel and something he needs to address immediately. Of course, the midfield as well needs to be addressed. Forget personnel. It's like the midfield can't link defence and you know the midfield can't receive the ball off the defence and link the attack. The attack is disjointed. The press is horrible. These are things that he's going to have to immediately address. Now, for me as well, when I look at um, Thomas Tuchel, one thing that annoys me, people, and if I check my notes, because I, again, I like I like to have structure with with what I'm what I'm talking about. I think there's plenty of great questions to have about Thomas Tuchel, but in terms of the press, I'm yet to hear them. You know ask genuine questions of Thomas Tuchel's suitability for the England role. You know, I said it earlier, he's a tinkerman. How will he go about that? You know, does he have the experience to be the England manager? And if he does amass from, you know, his time at various different clubs at club football, how would that help him? You know, you look at, as much as he's got good player relations, there's also, you know, issues with people above him and the structure. You look at how it ended at Chelsea, you look at Bayern Munich. What does that mean for the officials at the FA people? And I would love to know what would be Thomas Tuchel's first task the moment he walks into the to the, to the job. I do think the players will respect him as well because obviously his pedigree suggests that. But one thing I haven't liked is, unless I've missed the memo, when did a foreign manager managing England become a new thing? We've seen it with Spenio and Eriksson, RIP. We've seen it with Capello, mixed success, you know, if I'm completely honest. And I think it's quite shameless. And I think I'm not a fan of the dog pile on by the social media. You're allowed to want an English manager for the England job in the same way I'm sure the Brazilians, the Spanish, etc. But what I would say is, you know, where you look at Eddie Howe, because he's always linked with it, Graham Potter, obviously neither of them guys have stepped into the England, stepped into the international scene. Is Thomas Tuchel more of a, and they're all risks, is Thomas Tuchel more of a sure, a sure bet? 
I would reckon he is. And I think a lot of the media that's mainly just asking questions of Thomas Tuchel, if, you know, just based on the fact that he's German, if we went through history, you know, German in England is quite, you know, it's quite unique. I think it's appalling because when you look at it, if Jurgen Klopp or Pep Guardiola were available in a hypothetical world and said they wanted the England job, I don't think there'll be any rhetoric, especially Pep Guardiola. No one will give a flying monkeys if he's Spanish because he'd be the best man for the job. So if Thomas Tuchel's the best man for the job, I'm all for that. I'm just not a fan of, 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 you know, of the pylon. It's a mixed one because I, I do feel on one hand, it's an exciting appointment because when you think of Thomas Tuchel, you think of his previous workings, you think of his Tinkerman stuff, you think of how innovative he is as a manager and I think the players will benefit. But on the other hand, I, 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 I don't know why, but I just feel like it's a bit underwhelming. I don't know if I'm out questioning my own logic. If I feel Thomas Tuchel is underwhelming, who else would have taken the job? Again, the question marks are for me, can he make the transition into international management? How will he settle on a starting 11 slash a core group of players? Tactically, what can we expect from him? And how will it correlate? Because it's going to have to go, you know, it's going to have to explode sooner rather than later. As I said, the job now is getting England over the line. Flirted with success, two Euro finals back to back did not get it over the line if Thomas Tuchel was the man to get it over the line then fair enough really and truly but yeah man I think it's very indifferent and you know it's essentially a one-year deal is this something that's of convenience for for Thomas Tuchel does he see it as you know an experience before going back into club management does he want to make into the international scene kind of his gig you know is, is it a thing where England are looking at this kind of as a stopgap hoping it succeeds and then looking at another another sort of individual I'm not too sure people but yeah man congratulations to, to Thomas Tuchel hopefully it comes home hopefully in the World Cup we could do better people you know let me know your thoughts and everything you 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 believe people don't forget to follow not only this channel but my second one stay safe stay blessed peace